Well, both the North and South squads are hard at work for the 24th annual, 24th annual Alex Spanos All-Star Classic on July 11. One man on the South squad will be practicing with a heavy heart. Brandon Stone has more. Daniel McManus made the All-CIF first team based on being the best on foot. But for the Spanos Classic, it's all about his hands. I've come to like accept when they call me a kicker. I don't tell them that I'm a receiver, but yeah, I mean, it, it gets lost sometimes, but. Did your mom like your kicking more or your wide receiver skills more? When I was younger, I broke, I broke a lot of bones. She always told me, if you just kick, you won't get hurt. You can just kick and be fine. But I know that was just her looking out for me, and I know she loves seeing me play receiver too. These are the memories Daniel holds on to. For this game, will be his first without her. They sent me down one night and told me that she had uh, pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. Um, so that was in 2011. You couldn't really tell that she had cancer because she still did so much. She still hung out with us so much, did so many things. And then once this Christmas came around was when she really started feeling, um, feeling a lot worse. Uh, one night she got taken to, to the hospital and she stayed there for a couple days, had a couple, couple more weeks at our house and then she, she passed away. She went to every single one of my games that I had. She loved watching me play. So I know that I know that she would want me to be out here. She wouldn't want me to miss miss any football. She wouldn't even want me to miss any school, even though I did. Speaking of school, his next destination also serving as a form of honor. She went to USC, so that's a, a big, big factor. It's great to go where my mom where my mom went to school. There's a couple times when I was a lot younger that I remember walking around the campus with her. So it's cool to just be at a place. Um, that I know that she was a big part of. From Grossmont, this is Brandon Stone for the All Sports Report.